They fight for our freedom on the front lines, but when they return to America, veterans don't always have a place to call home. The government estimates that on any given night, about 47,000 American veterans are homeless. It's just awful, but you may not find any homeless veterans tonight in Lynn. As Shantae Land shows us, the federal government is giving that city special recognition for a program unlike anything else in our state. It's the simple things. I got all last year in June. Army veteran David Sequoia cherishes. After nine years of service, reaching the rank of sergeant after a tour of duty in Iraq, he returned to the States, divorced, jobless, and homeless. Being considered a, this hero, and then all of a sudden you don't have a place to, to stay. Yeah. And it's kind of like a, a big fall. After couch surfing with friends and battling PTSD, David found help. He joined a veterans program designed by the city of Lynn to house homeless vets. He landed this apartment in November. Federally funded services paid his security deposit and several months rent. It set me up with a bad, uh, I, was, I really appreciate it. What David is, and I think it's a great example of what happens when you give a veteran a hand. Michael Sweeney is the director of Lynn's Veteran Services. His office, along with others, have been recognized nationally by the federal government. The city is now the first in Massachusetts to end homelessness among veterans. That means they have provided service and housing for all identified homeless vets. Sweeney credits a registry the city uses to track homeless vets and a policy that all identified homeless vets must be housed within 30 days. David Sequoia is just one of 90 vets who've been placed. His case, not nearly the worst, as homeless vets have been seen living in these woods. Especially as it starts to get warm, we're going to see some more of that. 22 acres of woods in Lynn Woods. It's an it's a expansive area. As for David, his next chapter is finishing school. I'm going to start in June. Inland, Shante Lands, WBZ News.